So another episode of Captain CA on the fly today. Today, my special guest is Paul Mickley from Navionics, and he's going to show me the ropes on how to get the most out of my Raymarine with the Navionics software. So today, I'm the student, <laughs> Paul's the teacher, and uh, we'll probably bring a few fishing rods to see if we can catch a couple really? of fish. Really? I didn't know we were going to fish yeah, today. Right. We have to? Ah, oh, damn it, all damn right. It. Yeah, it's, part, it's part of R&D. All right. All right. You got to make sure that the contour lines that I'm going to learn about are productive. I guess we'll have to do it. <laughs> Drag back a little. Some fun with them. Oh yeah, that was a great eat. Sight fishing. Oh, spectacular! So much fun. Yeah. So this is how we do Navionics training. <laughs> Come out and we show me two big moves and then we uh, we bump into a few redfish and do a little bit of sight fishing. Yeah. A little mapping. Yeah. I think I got a new waypoint way stuff now. <laughs> Alright, now This is a full grown one too. Nice fish. They were working so hard. Just seems so. I don't know. Not every day anymore to be able to sight fish and to be able to come out here in water that sees a lot of angling pressure and be able to tangle with a fish of this. I mean, this is going to be a 30-inch fish, maybe even bigger. In a zone that knows a lot of live bait boats are in here. But we're here about two hours before any of those guys can get in here. The beauty of skiff fishing is it's skinny. I mean, like really skinny. Now he's a battler. He is a battler. There's the fruits of our labor. Navionics. Beautiful fish. Navionics training turns into Red Fishing 101 <laughs> with a sight fishing. Awesome. Oh, Thanks, Paul Mickley. Fantastic. All right, let's put let's put that big rusty one back in the water on your side. All righty, put him on in. Yeah. And then repeat. Yep. Right. Stalk, cast, set the hook, repeat. That's my crack at, at sight fishing. I got a beautiful rusty raider here throwing the BTB flats jig with a twin chartreuse trailer. And Paul McLean and myself from Navionics came out here to do a little R&D today, or really training because he's showing me what I need to know. And in this video, we're gonna go through some of that stuff about live sonar mapping and, and some of the tricks why you need to uh, to invest in Navionics. But yes, of course, we had four rods in the boat. We decided to do a little fishing and it's working out for us. All right, buddy. Swim again. So I'm out here today with Paul Mickley from Navionics and we're going to show you a little trick or a tip that you can get out of your Raymarine electronics between using a regular detailed chart and what we call the fishing chart. And it's the contour lines that you may not know are available to you to find good fishing spots. So without further ado, I'm going to let Paul take over the helm and I'm going to switch the direction of the lens back to my unit here and we are going to uh, see what we can learn today. 
Well, before I do that, CA, so one of the most important things is when you get your Navionics chart, make sure you register. Because in order, once you register that chart, you get all the features, the Sonar Chart Live, the depth contours, you know, the plotter sync. But the one we're going to talk about today, which is really important in us finding potholes today, was the Sonar Chart or fishing layer. Right up here, you can see this is the navigation layer. This is where it gets you, you know, when you're boating along, you want to get to point A to point B. We go over here, very simple enough, fishing chart. Um, this is on the Raymarine Axiom. On your other Raymarines, it could show up as sonar chart, but this is the same feature. Once you click that, notice all the one foot contours now that pop up. Here's your ledges, here's some holes, you're gonna see the lumps. So this is all the data that we were using today to find some of those fish holding spots. That kind of information is stuff that seems so simple, but it's the type of information that can lead you to the points, the bowls, the drains, and the potholes like we did today and catch fish. It's the, really that simple. Very true. And keep in mind that any of these lines equals one foot. So what I always try to tell people is the tighter these lines are, the more your drop off is. You know, if it's a thick black line, pictured as a black magic marker, that's your ledge. But the spot soundings will help you, but each one of those lines represents some type of change. And that's what you really have to look at. Well, there you have it. Another episode of Captain CA on the fly. I hope you enjoyed today's trip. It was just a quick little run out. We wanted to burn about two and a half, three hours. Give me a little on the job training because you never know how much information you're missing out on unless you have an expert like Paul Mickley um, dishing that stuff out. I'd, I had no idea the capabilities that is on the chip. Uh, lots of us just think you plug the chip in and you see the satellite map and you go, wow, I can go here, I can go there. But so much of that stuff can be used to find where fish live. So, hey, I hope this encourages you to buy a Navionics chip in the future. In the meantime, keep track of us on Instagram, Facebook, and of course, Flats Class YouTube, where you're watching this. Be a subscriber. Really appreciate it, everybody. Take care. Cap CA, checking out.